Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, we will see how we can uh, gate multiple raster uh, data. Uh, of course, we can get such a data from different sources, sources freely available, uh, either global or local uh, servers and I will show you some of these sources. And then uh, on the way, I will show you, or we will repeat how we're going to crawl and mask for our interest shape file, and then how we can load this data. Uh, so particularly the more or less the similar packages we require for this exercise as well, like the first one is raster package, SF package for uh, reading our shape files, GG, load for visualization and for reformatting our data, we need uh, reshape uh, to package. Uh, then after doing all this, uh, we go to set our working directory. My data is in my C uh, partition, user, macros, and then uh, on uh, our basic, uh, then I said to this working directory using set WD. Then I uh, will get data for this particular exercise from uh, wallet uh, climb data, which is a global uh, data set with high resolution. And uh, this data is provided by a raster package. I use uh, get data. Uh, I assign for a precip variable because I'm uh, getting only precipitation data from this uh, package or the server. Uh, then uh, after putting the data source or from which I'm getting this data, then I select variable. Uh, using var, uh, it is a uh, precip, uh, what I want to get by now. And then I set resolution to 2.5. Uh, Actually, it has several resolution. You can look up um, how the wallet climb data is, is look like actually. So I run this command. Uh, of course, because it's global data set, it takes a while. Fortunately for me, because I already loaded previously, it took only like a brief time. Then I read my shape file, uh, it's your shape uh, file, uh, which is the recent one. You can see uh, the previous video, how this works and what are there and how we can set a particular region or particular word for our interest. Uh, then I go to uh, select a interest region. In my case, I'm selecting uh, for this particular exercise, a uh, Sidama region. And I'm using subset from my uh, file. My shape file is here. Uh, it's your shapes. Then uh, admin one, which is the regional level is considered as admin one, admin two is donor river level, and admin three is is Wereda level. Then I'm working on regional level. Uh, I only subset uh, uh, Sidama region in this case. Then after doing all this, uh, I crop my uh, global uh, data here. Uh, to the extent that I'm interested, in my case, to the Sidama region extent, then I give extent uh, as using extent function. Extent function is one of the function in raster package. And uh, after putting this, I give the shape file that I prepare for this particular exercise that is Sidama region. Then after uh, making a crop uh, to the uh, to the extent of the Sidama region, then we're going to mask for the region. We only need the points or the, I mean, the values in in a particular region in this case. So uh, I go to mask. Mask did not take like so much time because it's already copied to the extent. 
then I name uh, this file uh, to the months because I know this data is monthly data, monthly average for a long time, uh, which is only for, for 12 months. It's averaged for, for March, averaged for January, averaged for every, every month, which is uh, 12 months. Then I have 12 raster layer here. Then I give name for raster using names uh, function. Then I assign a month name. Here, month name is simply assigned as a month. Then after, for plotting purpose, I change this raster data to the data uh, frame. Uh, to change into data frame, I use uh, as data frame uh, command. Then after I put the target file here, uh, after that I need also X, Y component here because it's distributed like X, Y, Z. Uh, Z is the value and X and Y are long, long, longitude and latitude of the particular shape, I mean raster file. Uh, then I need to melt it into like a uh, long format for the plotting purpose and this n a uh, rm2 is to remove any value that is na not uh, available values uh, going to be removed in this case then i run uh, this particular command then i'm ready to to plot now then to plot i put gg plot, then uh, I put a plus sign, I'm plotting the raster at the first place. So my raster data is here seed uh, df. So seed df, then I put a static of this, uh, actually the x, y, and z value in this case. x value is considered x, uh, which can be later named as a long tit uh, in a file, and uh, y is uh, considered as latitude and we feel the value of, of data, in this case, uh, rainfall or precipitation. Uh, then after doing that, we uh, put over, I mean, like overlay a, a Sidama region to our um, precipitation uh, plot. That is, we put as a transparent, we feel nothing. And we only need uh, like administrative boundaries. Then we give color for this as a uh, blue or white, which ranges from white to, to blue, white in lower values and it runs to, to blue. And for a uh, color scale, I write uh, precipitation a, a in in millimeter, then I put, uh, because it's like multiple uh, raster file, I put facet uh, wrap. In facet wrap, I use variable because miles are considered in my file, miles, miles are considered as variable. I put uh, variable and it gives me like the monthly for, for each month, uh, a single map for each month. So uh, I run this command and it takes uh, a bit time. Then uh, we have, yes, it is here. We have to have a patience sometimes because it takes like, uh, especially this uh, spatial data analysis because it always contain a huge data. It takes some time and uh, it's here, of course, it depends on our uh, computer capacity. So it's uh, here. So we can see how the rainfall uh, distributed, uh, like monthly average rainfall distributed across uh, Sidama region, uh, particularly January, uh, February, uh, November, and December are considered as a dry season and including uh, from March to to October, uh, there is like modest to to highest uh, rainfall rates. Uh, of course, it depends on the location. This color is not really nice color uh, to assign here. Uh, but how we can work with color, we will show. We will see. I mean, uh, in our another video, how we can uh, break our color. Uh, 
uh, a key into a different and how we can get like very meaningful and standard of publication for our reports. So this is uh, all about for today. Thank you for watching.